everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Josh. Uh, I picked up a Ford F-150. It's a 2014. Uh, I bought it off of a friend I know that bought it brand new. It has high kilometers. It's about 230,000 miles. Uh, it's in really good shape though. There's one issue with it and that is that the cab corners and the rockers are uh, rusting. It uh, was factored into the price when I bought the truck that I got it for a better price because it had some rust issues. Uh, so me being me, I started searching around for replacing them. I've done rust repair before myself. It's a pain to do. And if you're gonna be driving this in the winter, if anybody follows my channel, I drive my old Dodge second gen all summer. And this will be mainly driven just in the winter and uh, daily back and forth to work and stuff. Uh, but mainly in the winter. So the thing is, no matter how good of a job is done, how much oil, everything put in, the stuff just seems to rust out again. Steel and salt just don't mix. So I started searching around for other options and I came across this product online made by OAM Quick Covers. Uh, they're out of the States, I'm in Canada, which was not an issue at all. I had no issues with shipping from them or anything. And uh, it was really uh, easy, or they were really easy to deal with, I should say. So anyways, I'm just going to show you. I just got these in the mail. The end of the box is cut. I had to cut it and fold it over to fit it in this truck because it's not that big of a box. Uh, but on an angle, I got it in. So we're going to unbox this and show you guys uh, what the solution is and uh, how I like their product. All right, so I'm just going to set them on the tonneau cover here nice and dry easy for you to see so OAM solution is these they're molded plastic that slips right over top of your current rocker minus the rust underneath which we'll talk about that after uh, the fit and finish of these guys is super nice uh, it's very very thin which is good because we don't want them to be seen because they stick on and uh they're over top of the metal, so we don't want a big seam there. So they've done a really good job of making this super, super thin. Uh, it's labeled here, driver's side, that's your cab corner, obviously. Uh, you can just buy the cab corners or the, or the rockers. Uh, I needed them all, mainly just the cab corners. I mean, the rockers on these trucks are honestly pretty hidden, but I wanna do it right and cover everything up and repair everything so super light and super perfect fitting i'm really happy with that uh I, it's first time i've pulled it out of the box so there's that next thing out of the box we have our passenger side uh rocker cover it covers from front to back as you can see it's molded it has the factory dimples just like your rockers would have uh, again really nice uh, and really really light I'm super excited to get these on uh, they do I just want to say they do offer a textured version of these but I wanted to paint them uh, the textured version has UV inhibitors in them so you can install them black with just the texture if that's the look you want. Uh, I want to look original and not be able to tell her there. So I'm going to uh, paint them and prime or prime them and paint them to match the truck and they'll appear as factory. So that's that. Our other one. Comes with a nice quick cover stick on uh, or a sticker comes with our rivets to install it our uh, 3m two-sided tape some tack cloths or uh, to not tack cloths but to clean it up and our instructions are in here uh, I'll get to pulling out the other rock or cab corner it's on the other end Okay, so everything's laid out now. It actually comes with your packing slip. It comes with a big thing of instructions, which we are gonna be guiding you guys through how to do this and how I'm gonna install them. Uh, if you do get the smooth ones, 
to paint like i say they have no uv inhibitors in them they must be painted you can't put them on smooth like that even if you like the textured look they will fade uh we'll open up our uh primer here i can get it from local parts store different versions but they like this poly vance uh, bumper and cladding coat adhesion primer uh you can spray it right on once we're cleaned up we have to uh to wipe the product with our uh, cleaner here and uh, then we're gonna be spraying that on it can go right on as they are after they're cleaned up so if you have the textured ones guys like i say you can install them that way but we're going to be going through the full process of painting them uh that pretty much goes over the unboxing portion and uh the next spot you're going to see me guys uh i want to put these on the truck right now and slide them over just to fit them but the truck's super dirty and i don't want them dirty so uh yeah anyways fit and finish of these guys is second and none they're they're perfect let's say they're they're molded perfectly to a uh, Ford. So uh, I'm really happy with them. There was a lot of other products out there. Uh, I'm one for research. Uh, there's some that you can get on eBay. I'm not gonna mention any names of them. They're very uh, much more cost effective, but with anything in the world, if you want quality, you gotta pay for it. And I do not mind paying for something that makes my truck look good and the qualities there and the customer service so this thing is yeah the fit and finish is just unbelievable guys so we're gonna get these packaged up i'm in the process of moving right now i'm a boat mechanic so our winter is going away right now so i have to move i work remotely so i'll be gone and i'm gonna actually be doing this in the shop at my work that i'm able to use so we're at my house now and we're gonna take off up there and we'll get to uh, prepping these, painting these, and then we're gonna get to installing them. So uh, stay tuned and we'll get up there. All right guys, so we're actually in the shop now. Uh, I decided that if I wait, our weather gets really humid and I don't have a proper spot to paint these per se in a professional paint booth. But right now, I have a garage that I can heat with a wood stove. It's very dry and good for painting. So I actually just got the wood stove fired up. We're gonna get it around 20 degrees Celsius in here. That's about 70 Fahrenheit, like I said, I'm in Canada. Um, so I, like I said before, I got the bumper and cladding coat and I went with their brand from OAM, what they recommended just for peace of mind. I'm like that if I have a Ford truck around Ford filters on it. So anyways, this is what they recommend. I trust their recommendation and I like that it can be just sprayed right on. So it comes with their anti-static surface cleaner um, and prep cleaner. So you're gonna need a lint-free rag, which this is a microfiber cloth, which is lint-free, or that's what it says on the box. So that's what I'm gonna use. Uh, when you smell this stuff, it just smells like alcohol. So you're just basically cleaning the surface so you know it's clean. Uh, you can put it on your cloth and wipe it down. So we're gonna do that first and get it clean and let that dry and then we're gonna get to painting. The garage isn't quite up to our 20 degree temperature. I like to be have it right around the perfect temperature. If you can, I mean, many guys do it outside and that's fine, but if I can use it inside of my garage or my parents' garage, I'm definitely gonna use it because uh, it's a lot easier to uh, paint when everything is the correct temperature. So let's get to wiping it down. Uh, but first I actually have some Duplicolor Perfect Match paint. It's Oxford white in my case for that Ford. I got this from Canadian Tire uh, in the States. You can get it from many different places, auto parts stores. Uh, my local auto parts store does make paint, but when you spray it, it comes out like a can, just a regular spray bomb of rust paint. Like it comes out in the round, uh, pattern and on these it comes out a wide pattern and you can twist the nozzle and it sprays a lot nicer guys so I would really recommend that and on top of that I have some gloss clear coat that will be top coating after uh, so I'll stop rambling on let's get to uh, tacking these or cleaning them and then we'll uh, get to spraying our primer on them Apparently the camera didn't uh, 
record. I thought I hit the play button, but anyways, that's one light coat done. You get to see me do the next one. We're gonna wait our five minutes and then give it our second coat. I'd say that's definitely a light coat that I did. All right, we are done painting. It turned out pretty good. That's three coats of Ultra Gloss Clear Coat by Duplicolor. Turned out pretty good. Finish looks pretty good when you look at it. Couple little things in it because I'm not in a professional paint booth, but what can you do? Super, super happy with the color of it and the glossiness. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. Paint has dried. As you can see, we transferred shops. I'm up at my work. As you can see, I'm a boat mechanic anyways. The paint is really nice, really happy with it. Rockers dried nice and the cab corners. So we're gonna hit the truck and start uh, prepping it. So I need to give the truck a good wash. But before I do that, we need to remove our uh, running boards so if you have the OEM installed I mean everybody's uh, truck is gonna be different but you got two 13 millimeter bolts there and two at the front repeat that on both sides and pull them off there's these clips right here and here you slide them off too and make sure you keep them with them because you're gonna reuse them when you put them back on but for now uh, we're gonna take these boards off and we'll uh, get to cleaning the truck and get to install on the covers all right so i just pressure washed the truck obviously i shoved this bearing cap in there all this is going to get cut out i just sprayed a little bit of white paint on there and rocker guard just to touch it up here for the month or so while i was waiting for it to get warm anyways we have to pull off our door seal so we have these uh little pain clips we're gonna call them if you don't have the proper tool to take these off these will work good there's guys that start ripping them putting their screwdriver in but these you can just go right around it twist on it give it a pull there you go go to the next one clamp in so on go front to back remove them on both sides and we'll get to the next step once our rubber's removed go around pull up your sill plates they just pull up straight out some of them might come out like that just pry up on them with whatever you got. And then these clips here, we're gonna pull them off, set them to the side, go around all four doors and repeat that. So next up, our uh, quick covers come up to here, right? My rot is all right in here. So you can see, this was just done a couple weeks ago, just to make it look nice when I bought the truck, I just gave it a quick spray of rust of white rust paint just to make it look better um quick cover says you can go around and just bang all the rust in and then go over as long as it's not protruding we're gonna cut it out because we want to stop the rust so i'm gonna go i have a bubble right to here so i'm gonna cut right here and just cut right down and get rid of all this rust Cut around there and then down here this is where your structure is guys this is where you need to attach your quick covers mine are rotten too there so i'm just going to cut along this line from front to back and then right to here because this is where it's rotten and here is pretty good but i'm just going to this there's nothing left of this and this is just going to spread so i'm just going to cut a line all the way down from front to back and uh, then we'll have all of our rust cut out then we can get to our cavity wax
Okay, I'm gonna just straighten this up just because I can. Uh, rockers are cut out from front to back. Same with the other side. I didn't film it. Didn't figure that you guys want to watch me do both sides. This one I cleaned up a little bit nicer. Uh, this rocker was in much worse shape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and get the pressure washer and pressure wash all this garbage out of here and then let it dry and then we can oil it. But uh, that'll help stop the rust. Okay, back from pressure washing, you can see everything is cleared out in there now. It's, uh, there's no loose rust in there. And guys, I really recommend doing this because there's no point in uh, just hammering that rust in there. It's uh, 1240 now. I started this whole process in here of cutting the rust at 12 o'clock, including pressure washing. This is my lunch break, I get an hour. Uh, I got both sides done. So for the half hour, 45 minutes, it's gonna take you guys, uh, strongly recommend it. I'm gonna let this dry out now and then we can get to putting our cavity wax in. And in the meantime, we're gonna be putting our 3M tape on the back of our rockers and cab corners. Okay, next guys, you take your alcohol pads that Quick Covers gives you and clean up around the back where your two-sided tape's gonna go. You're supposed to do this first, obviously, before painting. Uh, they, I never did. I think the purpose of doing it first is because they don't want you to scratch your new paint, which is why I have these down. So, anyways, wipe them off so your two-sided tape goes on, and I'm sure it's because of overspray, which I was careful of. I got some here, but that doesn't matter. That's just all riveted on anyways. So we're gonna go around, wipe all these, and uh, then we're ready to apply our tape. Okay, we're all taped there to uh, the specs of OAM. Goes on really nice, and like they say, don't be shy to put some pressure on it because it is pressure activated tape. It all stuck on really nice and is really super sticky. There's a couple spots where I went a little bit too far and I had to cut some off and it was hard to peel up. So at least we know we're getting a good adhesion. We're going to let this dry out. I've just swept all of our rust. That's why I uh, recommend cutting that out. That's a whole pile of rust there. It must weigh five pounds. So I recommend that. But anyways, we're going to let this dry and then uh, we'll get to throwing these uh, covers on. Now that everything's dried, we're using this. It's uh, fluid film. It's got the wool wax formula that they always advertise. It's really good stuff and a lot of people claim that this stuff actually uh, stops rust completely. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Anyways, we're gonna coat the whole insides of our cavities here, go underneath our rockers and I'm gonna go right along and coat everything from front to back. And uh, that's that. Okay, it is time to get going again. So our next step, I went along in there and just coated that with rust inhibitor. You can see it in there. I don't know, I won't focus. Anyways, it's coated in there. Uh, and then I wiped everything and cleaned it. I gotta prep it more for our sticky. Um, as you can see, my rockers weren't as rusted as some people's. I've seen some people's in other videos come up into here. So, Quick Covers wants to, us to install or apply grease to anywhere that has corrosion. So, like in here, other areas. So that's what we're gonna do now. And they want you to come up to here, but you can't be too close to the to the seam for your tape. So I'm probably just gonna apply some into here and just onto the edge here, maybe a little bit back into there. Okay, I have applied grease all along, wherever there was corrosion. In some cases, if you're worse, you can go up in there. Mine aren't rusted in there, so I'm not concerned. Uh, pull the bolt out of there right here and there's a plastic plug which mine broke upon pulling out I tried everything I couldn't get it out loosen this bolt and this will be free then your rocker cover can slide under there do that to both sides obviously over here I had some corrosion there from my uh, 
foot, foot or the previous owner, I should say, from their feet going in and out, people's feet dragging there. It's just surface rust, but I covered it. Same with down there. All through over here, I covered in there a lot higher because there was a bit of rust in there. I got back in there. So that's all done. We're ready to, uh, I've already test fit the cover. So we're gonna slide on our cab corners and get them nice and tight. All right, guys, let's get on it. I got all my tape peeled back. All I can say, this probably is gonna take longer peeling this tape back to get your edge going, because it's hard. So peel them back. I can grab these from behind underneath the bed. Uh, peel everything back. I've already test fit this once off camera. Now we're gonna go again. I found it easiest to go like this. And then just pry your tab back in here. Sometimes you gotta reach behind. Not sometimes you do. There we go. Now we're around. We wanna make sure we're good with this body line. up to the pinch welds so sorry about the doors slamming I think there's about a hurricane happening out there so we're nice and tight against there so I'm gonna pull that tab right away up here I'm happy with this we're gonna pull that back too now I'm gonna slip underneath the truck and grab our other tabs and pull them stick them there's one down two down third tab or plastic here kind of went around her fell back over. Anyways, pull that around. Get that in there. There we go. Get it off the side. It's stuck on, looks beautiful. So I've tried a bunch of different angles. This is the best I come up with. With not having a hoist, this is what you get. So, doing this by yourself, you gotta take the front of your rocker here, slide it underneath the plastic piece you pulled down before. We're up there. Now we're gonna tilt it and push it up. That's so we miss our plastic. So we're gonna get this just close, guys. And then we're gonna line up our spot welds here with our uh, glyce grips, I'll grab them. Okay, we're gonna pull our tail here. Oh no, that's not good. Pull like this. Okay, we're stuck on there. Now we're gonna pull our next one. And our next one. Keep that loose. Go.
both doors are closed. We're clamped on nice. I never pushed that tight yet. I, I have to. Uh, wow, these look amazing. Uh, we got to rivet and get our holes drilled for our running boards. I just want to test our fitment of our door once more. Not much you can do once you get that 3M tape on there. But uh, either way, looks so much better. We're going to get our rivet gun set up. Okay, with our covers clamped. Sorry, guys. It's kind of tight under here. With our uh, covers clamped on, uh, there's no set distance for your rivets, guys, because sometimes there's rust that sticks out or parts that have rusted completely out, and you're going to get waves. So you want to go on your high spots or whatever looks nicest, really. Like I said, there's no set distance that you have to follow. So uh, they say you do an eighth pilot, then a 3 16 hole, and then our rivet. I have these drill bits. They're like $33 or something for one bit. And I'm going through in one shot. That's up to you. Uh, we're going to get a few rivets in and then we'll drill our holes or ream our holes, whatever you want to call it, for our running boards if you have them. Uh, but otherwise, start in the middle and then work your way to each end. So let's get started. One down. All right, guys, we're gonna run from front to back and we'll uh, be with you when we're done. Okay, we're done from front to back. Uh, if you have any of these that break off, guys, uh, just cut them off with a pair of snips. And then when you get to the front here, uh, and if this sags a little bit here, this is where my running board goes on, so it's gonna pinch it up. So that's why I didn't put a rivet there. Uh, so now we take our new two eight millimeter bolts, tighten them up, and uh, that'll tighten your front up too, so you don't need a rivet here. Tighten that up, and then we're on to the next step of drilling our holes for our running boards and installing them. Okay, so I put my drill bit in reverse and go through this, guys, because if you go in forwards, it'll have the tendency to want to rip. I just did the back two, and these are the front two. It'll, I, it actually just cracked mine a bit. It wasn't, not that that's the end of the world by any means. Anyway, so I found if you uh, just put your drill bit in reverse and push on this, it'll go right through that plastic. And then uh, we're ready to take our clips, and you simply just take your clip and a little bit thicker now with that plastic but i mean this plastic's so thin so you shove that over like that do that on your front and back if you have running boards then we'll install the running boards i think you guys have seen enough down here and then we'll be up top to install the weather strip and we'll show you what they look like done running boards are on now we're on to the easy part guys you take your clips if they're stuck to your weather stripping like mine were you uh Go to your spot of your cab here, slide them over. That one was really rusty. That was a front one. We'll swap it. Sometimes they take a hammer because it's a little tight. And then you take your weather stripping, start bringing it over. You obviously bring it over the cover here. Go around every door and put it back on like that.
Hello everyone, thanks for watching me install my quick covers. My name's Josh, this is my 2014 F-150, and thank you for making this product, quick covers. These are awesome, and they're not gonna rust again. This truck has 380,000 kilometers on it, going on to 400,000 kilometers. I think that converts about 240,000 miles. It's a lot. I wasn't gonna spend the money of doing a proper rocker job, $3,000 or whatever, that's gonna rust out again. This truck's been well taken care of and uh, it should last me a long time, but I don't wanna have to worry about rust. But as you can see, you can't tell they're on there. Everything fits flawlessly. Uh, if you really wanna look close, you're gonna see the seam between the rocker and the, or the rocker and the cab corner here. But otherwise, no issues installing him at all. Really simple and like I say, cut out the rust guys because there's no point in leaving it in there. Get rid of it and oil spray it and uh, get to installing it. Those door seals went on really nice. I just used the 3M tape on them and uh, I can put a rivet in each end. You don't have to, but you can. Mine's stuck on just fine, so I'm probably gonna leave it. Uh, but otherwise, uh, everything went amazing and I'm really happy with it. My paint blended in good and uh, it's really totally changed the look of the truck. It's a nice truck still. It's not even eight years old yet from the production date on it. And uh, yeah, it should last me a lot of years. And now I don't have to deal with rust. I got a few things to touch up like the bumpers and stuff, but I'm well on track. Without quick covers, I probably would have never done the rockers because of the price. So I'm really happy that uh, I got them and they're on the truck. So I really recommend the product. The only thing that uh, I would recommend or my opinion on them, I like everything that went on, but uh, one thing I thought that you could do is you could use an adhesive and really adhere it to here because the two-sided tape leaves a little bit of a gap, just the nature of the two-sided tape. Uh, if you could use an adhesive, it would really make it bond tight and you really wouldn't notice it. But I mean, you really can't notice it unless you're looking for it and you look down but otherwise it's a great product and uh, I really recommend them. I'm glad to have them on my truck and uh, it's done now. I probably have about uh, with painting, uh, installing them, cutting out the rust, pressure washing it, letting it dry. I probably have a couple days into it. That's just because I have done it in stages as you've seen throughout the video, but otherwise uh, you could probably have this done in a day for sure, an afternoon. It all depends on how in depth you want to be and how well of a job you want to do. Uh, I suggest doing it right and cut out your rust and finish it off properly. So thanks for watching guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and this helps you install your quick covers.